there's a wonderful article, uh, The Careless Fires and Smoky Weather. A woman named Teresa Ferguson looked at the Hudson's Bay Trading Journals from 1880 to about 1899 and recorded all the incidences of fire. So on May 10th, 1842, outside of one of the Hudson's Bay forts, they sent Jean Vien to burn the old grass in the meadows where we get our hay made generally. So using fire on purpose to do certain things on the landscape has a long tradition. And this image is from a ranch in the Peace River Valley about 1916. And I apologize for the quality, but the burned open slopes and the burned tree in the foreground, again, give you an idea of how you know, fire had been used in that particular area. We also have soils that developed under grasslands in the Peace. And one of the best uh, tools that you can use to sort that out and the people have used in the past is the soil maps. So soils developing under grasslands give you different characteristics than the ones that developed under forest cover and on those boundaries of where the prairies met the parkland, again, that's where people often used fire to create the particular conditions that they want and push that boundary back and forth. A source of some of the information are the original land surveyors. They had to, as they were surveying the land into uh, different sizes of parcels and forming boundaries, or make notes of exactly what vegetation was present when they were doing that work.